the next step is add on the rail to add the little glue some thin cardboard strips which I already marked here one and the strip will be sticking out one millimeter at both sides one millimeter at both sides should be wire I measured it with the caliper and I measured five millimeters so that should be seven millimeters wide each strip remember to remove the gloss on one side of the cardboard this cardboard from just on rise we remove it with some sandpaper Okay, I strongly recommend you to use a knife and and a ruler, stainless one. Uh, I don't have a sharp knife. Knife and one. Really easy. You can clean up some of the excesses on the downside as it is dry. You can resend it.
Okay, as far as now, I made one strip, but I'm not sure it gets thick enough. I think we will have to triple the strips, put three strips on each other, because otherwise it won't have the thickness of one stone. So I'm going to make for each side three strips, strips of seven millimeters wide. Seven millimeters wide, it should be. Maybe two strips is enough, we will see. We will just do that by the eye. If you look if it's thick enough. I don't think so. I think it should be three. Later, when we laminated the strips on the, on the rail, we can glue some sandpaper, finer sandpaper grade 120, on a wooden ice stick or coffee stick of wood, and you can use that as a model file. Second strip, and then we just have a look if that's thick enough. And I'd say it's thick enough, I think. Maybe let's see. Let's see. It's thick enough. Just put one three on each other, and I should confess that three on each other it looks nicer, the thickness looks better, so it looks more like the thickness it should be. We place it in the bricks, the three, and if we just say is it nice, we just have a look if it's nice. And I'd say yes, it should be three. So we cut a third strip too. Seven millimeters wide. When they are glued, when they glue the dry, the glue has dried. You can cut off the excess with a knife and sand it nicely, even those three laminate strips. Three strips. That's done. And we start to apply the glue on the rail, which is filed and sanded already. Now, if you see some minor, minor imperfections, you should remove them now. Because after it's too late. See some minor imperfections. Thank you.
and glue the strips onto the bridge. And we have to make sure that at each side there is one mirror. Especially the first one should be done perfectly. I think I should apply some glue on this side too. Now I need to make sure that the one there's one millimeter sticking out, protruding, and that it um, keeps everywhere flat, which doesn't want to happen. Right now. We are be aware that it's sticking out on the all sides. <coughs> Later we trim off the outside side. You have to hold it for a while. Observe very well if there's everywhere for a millimeter sticking out, because otherwise it will, will be very ugly. You don't get the, the result you want, the effect of depth. It creates uh, realistic, uh, it, it makes it more realistic. Okay, this strip is done. We we'll leave it to dry. We can't. Uh, we should leave it to dry at least like half an hour before we would glue the next strip. Leave it to dry. before we apply the next strip. But we can put the strip here already on the other side. In the meanwhile, we cut the next strips. That's what we are going to do now. Apply a thin layer of glue on my cardboard strip. As a kid, I dreamed of these things. I um, just didn't have the knowledge about what the possibilities were. Realizing that what I wanted as a kid. Working with an adult's hand, hands now. Though the eyes don't get better when you get older. Okay, 
description be quite Applying on the strip, the glue makes the glue the strip a little bit softer, and uh, it's more willing to to bend. Even though it's a cardboard strip, it still has some flexibility, and it wants to bend back. Look for the other side now. Nice. Just make sure that, the, that there's no gap in between. There's still a gap here. So press it down gently, making sure that the one millimeter at both sides, at both sides, I should stick one millimeter. Yes, it's okay now. We leave that to dry before we can apply the next step. The strips will be cut off when the three strips are laminated on top. Then they will be cut up. Don't trim, uh, trim them off before. And what I would do is not trim them off exactly with this line um, here. Don't trim them off exactly, but let them stick out for like two millimeters of here, both. And the same on the other side. Yeah. Yes, it's very well. It works. I was afraid it wouldn't work. But it works. Perfect. Now we leave it to dry for like some hours before we continue with the project. And we glue another two strips here and another two strips here which I will cut off now but you have seen how it works so I won't bother, bother you with showing you that anymore and after I will continue the project thanks for watching success with your project